Don't get that shit in blood. Ain't no dodger, ain't no mask on. I made it so you know who it was. Brr, brr, big brr. Get that shit in blood. Brr, 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 brr. Big brr. Now, big brr has something to say about. Besides, something to talk about. Mr. Pushasty, Pushasty, if you will. Pushasty, that's my dog. And Shawty, you know I'm really shysty. He has something to talk about. We here to discuss this at this moment. So what's, what's, what's up, what's happening in this K.A. We back in the stand. K.A. show good he sleep with a cut up a throne. You know the little nigga want a ton. So basically, you know, if you've been living under a rock and you haven't known either. And hopefully this goes out after my video, the original video this is following after. Basically, Pooh Shiesty got sentenced to 63 months in jail. In layman's term, about 5 years and 3 months in jail. No, I don't know because he's been in jail for about a year right now. So I don't know if they're going to give him time served, though. I didn't introduce myself. My apologies. I really got into this thing. What's up? What's happening? It's K. We back in this thing. K. Show good. He sleep with a cut up a throne. You know, the little nigga on a ton. Now back to the story. So basically, you know, he had a little federal gun case or whatever. He took, he was do, doing like the guilty plea deal or whatever. He could have got life for like eight years or something in jail. But, you know, he took the lesser deal, which was five, I'm guessing. Which we got to see will he still have a career or still have the same buzz he has after five years. I don't think so. Again, Bobby had that buzz, but I don't know about Pooh Shiesty. And Bobby didn't really follow up or didn't follow up how niggas wanted him to follow up in the scenes. But now we're here to talk about Mr. Pooh Shiest. So basically, he has a message for his fans, supporters, his friends, his buddies, his cronies, you know, all them niggas. You know, he has a... Yes, yeah, stuff was. So we here to talk about that shit. So before all else, you already know what it is. I talk my shit. I talk my fleas. So anyways, we here to discuss Mr. Pooh Shice, dear. So as we here to discuss that, all I need is one thing. Like and subscribe. You know, we only live this life one time. We trying to ball hard like we live this shit twice. So you already know what it is. Hit that like and subscribe and bring a little life and push that narrative on so all of us can turn up in this life. But anyways, we're here. I don't know why I be spinning sometimes. I be spinning off the top of the head. Let's just read this shit real quick. So. So, yeah. Push Ice Depends message from Ja. I wish I could come home. I wish I could be coming home. Okay. Anyways, he thanked everyone for their support and announced new music. Despite his recent conviction, Pooh is in good spirits. The rapper was battling a federal case where he faced life behind bars. But after pleading guilty to a count of conspiracy to possessing a firearm in furtherance of violent and drug trafficking crimes, Shiesty received just over five years in prison. His play has been heavily covered in hip-hop and his fans have express their support shiesty seemed to be just stepping into his time in the spotlight and it is unfortunate that much of his career has been derailed due to his legal troubles but in a reported jailhouse message the rapper assures fans that he'll be pushing forward with new music an email reportedly from Pooh shiesty has circulated today and it reads the biggest i just want to thank all my loved ones supporters and fans for holding me down during these hard times the rapper reportedly wrote i wish i could be coming home to y'all today but this could have been way worse i will be back sooner than y'all think but meantime new music dropping next week brr, big brr, you know what i'm saying the rap industry has evolved over the years in an effort to accommodate situations such as these. As more artists have been hit with legal issues or jail time, labels have nearly perfected navigating their careers from behind bars. We've seen several artists actually develop, a top, develop and top the charts while incarcerated. So it is expected that Pooh Shiesty will continue to thrive. Now, like I was saying in the other video, how much will he thrive? Will his fans wait for him? Will his fans grow with him? Because, you know, that's a, that's a while. You know, and like I said, with the, with the example being Bobby Schmurter, now, like, Kodak being in jail for two years, that ain't really that long. It's just two years. From, what, 2018 to 2020, ain't much going to change. Will the sound change? I think Hello, you Seen seen or Blackie Speaks brought that shit up. Will the sound change to the point, like, right now, just for the street niggas right now, will it go back to the SoundCloud era, the emo rap shit? Will he be as popping as before? Would the newer top acts want to work with him? Will the music he makes be suited for the newer generation? 
And will he be as popping as he was before? And that's something only time will tell. But besides that, looks like my nigga Pusha is in good spirits. He ready to come back. And we'll see. And on good behavior, he could get a little bit earlier release, hopefully. So besides that, man, I'm just hoping Pusha has to get out again. Talented motherfucker, one of my favorite new artists. I ain't going to care. Every time I hear that nigga, I'll be saying brr all the time, nigga. I be speaking Trapanese or whatever the fuck. I don't know what the fuck that nigga be saying when he say big brr. But nigga, I don't know, nigga. That's a different language, nigga. For, nigga, it's broken English. It's slang, you hear me? We gotta, I don't know what the fuck that be meaning. I, I guess a nigga got to live in Memphis or whatever the fuck. But besides all that, man, hey, listen. Pooh shots to keep your head up. Do your thing. You'll be home sooner than you know it. And hopefully the fans wait for you and you can come back and continue your success in this music industry, in the rap game. But besides all that, what do you feel about it? Put your comments down below. Check out the links in the description. Check out the other videos I got. You know what I'm saying? Hey, help, you, help, a, help a nigga out. Help a nigga grow. You hear me? But besides all that, you already know what it is. It's your friendly neighborhood cat A signing off for today. The black TJ there while they're doing this thing. My name ring bells like Quasimodo. Hit like and subscribe if you want to hear a little bit more. Do you hear me? I'm gone. Slime Zoom Peace Shot Elge Gang. Oi!